hello everyone you're yeah, welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you that secret ingredient to the perfect smoky jollof rice or your nigerian stew see you won't say i've not done anything for you because this is one major thing i'm about to do for you now i'm going to be sharing with you this recipe this always make my jollof rice my stew to always be a hit meanwhile if you are hearing this voice for the first time where have you been my name is grace and i make recipes you find interesting from my kitchen please hit the subscribe button below for more recipes i'll try as much as possible to make this video very short so i've added in my tomatoes and my scotch bonnet pepper now i'm adding red bell pepper also known as tatashi now i'll be adding in my cayenne pepper aka shambo this is my peeled ginger i'll go ahead now to add in my garlic you can reduce the quantity of the garlic if you don't like garlic that's totally up to you so i'll be adding in my control onion see how it looks like you can get it from people that sell spices i'll be adding in my onions i use two onions balls for this and the last thing we'll be adding is bay leaves i use three bay leaves for this we'll go ahead now to pour all this into our cooking pot and cook them see let me tell you something it is totally different from blending first before cooking the aroma they give there are two different things so i'm going to cover this up and allow it to produce its own juice after some minutes see how the whole thing is boiling the aroma coming from this alone is as if we are cooking party jollof rice see how it is now looking the whole stuff is already getting dry see that our big quantity of tomatoes have already reduced to almost the bottom level and you can see it's getting burned a little bit that is okay with this you don't need any extra smoke in your jello fries i know some people ask smoke but with this you don't need any extra smoke in your jello fries so i'm just going to allow this to cool down a little bit before we go ahead to blend it see don't say i have not done anything for you because with this your party jello is going to another level the test from this is far different from when you do the roasting method because the combination of these spices have actually infused together for a long time we are done blending i will transfer this into my container see how the color is and see the consistency let me tell you even tomato paste has got nothing on this <laughs> actually 